Okay, we're getting the random ready for NT division break. Two boxes on Sunday night, April 19th. There's the eight names for the divisions. Dennis, Dennis, Ricky, uh, Seattle guys, Aaron, Aaron, Ricky, and Eric. Okay, those two are ready. We'll start in a second. Did you win anything good last night, Chew? Got payment, Ricky. Thank you. You got murdered. You know, I don't think we have a break. Me and Jason are doing a break this Friday, so we might might be able to actually make it next Saturday and might make Friday my shipping day. All right. Okay, Freddie. Freddie, take that credit that I gave you on this, and then I got some credit for Shimmy. If he wants to wait to pay, I can figure his credit afterwards. I didn't figure it out, man. I got too busy with listing. But let's figure out what people's divisions are. Maybe I can figure the credit for Shimmy while we're doing that. All right. We're going six times. <clears throat> we're going to random up the names first. Then we'll roll the die again, and we'll random up the divisions. Oops, that's the wrong picture. One second, let me get it back up. There it is. Okay, going two and four six times. We got Dennis, Dennis, Ricky, big time Shimmy, big time Freddy, Aaron, Aaron, Ricky, and Eric. Going six times. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. We're doing two, Freddie. This is just for the two box division break. Here's the names in order. We got Dennis, Ricky, Eric, Ricky, Aaron, Aaron, and Dennis, and Big Time Shimmy, Big Time Freddy right on the bottom. Good thing it doesn't mean anything. For their sake. Or I'd already be hearing about it. Boot this stuff. Okay. Let's random up the divisions. First of all, six times. And you see two and a four, six. <laughs> okay. Six. 
Six and a three. Six and a three is nine. Okay, I got AFC East, North, South, and West, and then NFC East, North, South, and West. We're going to do these nine times. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and the ninth and final time. We have AFC West. We have NFC East. Ricky getting the giant spot this time. NFC West. It's honestly pretty even in, uh, in NT for what I would charge for divisions. There's some better than others, but it's about as even as you can get compared to other breaks. Number four is AFC North. Aaron on the five spot has the AFC East. And on the sixth spot, Aaron got the NFC South. Dennis in the seventh spot got the AFC South. And last but not least, number eight, NFC North. I had somebody that wanted to just buy the NFC North. I would have liked to sold to them. But someday I might do a pre-price divisions, but it, it makes it kind of tough. Nine times, six and a three is nine. All right. I'll go through them one more time verbally. Um, Dennis, who is not here yet, is Dennis here? I'm going to text him real quick. Hey, Doug, are you here? So Dennis says the AFC West. I'm going to text him his divisions right now. Dennis has the AFC West. And he got the AFC South. And he is not here at the moment. Um, Ricky got the NFC East. And the AFC North. So you got your uh, Browns, Ricky. And the Giants. That was a good draw for you. Um, Eric at the NFC West. Aaron, I don't think is here either. Has the AFC East and the AFC, NFC South. Um, and then uh, Freddie's monitoring the NFC North. So if there's anybody that wants to buy, there is a chance. Um, no, he's not, Andy, but he usually flies in right when I start. And I'm texting him right now. So if he responds, I can ask him for you. I do have a few more points. How many are you looking for, Eric? I was going to use them, but if you need them, I'd sell them to you. I didn't list them. If you need them, man. Um, okay. Let me, um, let me look through the list and see if there's anything I really need. If I don't need anything from the new group, I'll, I'll offer you anything I got. 
Will you say, will you do me a favor, Eric, and send me a text asking about it? That way, I there's no way I'll forget. I golf. Were you interested in the Jags from Dennis or not? Um, you were. I'm going to ask him if he's interested in selling the Broncos or the Jags. He doesn't sell that often, but once in a while he does. I wanted to at least try for you. You can decide. Okay, I got it, Eric. Thanks. So I emailed Dennis on the Jags and the Broncos. If he gives me a price, I'll give it to you guys. If not, we'll get started. Okay, okay. Sounds good. I'll at least get you a price, John. You can decide if you want to do it or not. Maybe. Actually, I'm almost out of power. I need to charge my phone. Let me do that while I'm waiting for this. Okay, Eric. Um, um, on the Cardinals, don't send it to me now, but if you get something that requires shipping, I'll just need a little bit of goods for shipping, okay? But let's wait to see if you hit something first. Good. I've had people send me goods before, and then I had to refund them if they didn't get anything. Hopefully you get something, though. But it's only two boxes, so it could go either way. Well, he read the text. I'm going to go ahead and get the case ready. It's not going to take look too long to decide. Unless he's in the room. De Dennis in the room? No, he's not. We'll give him a couple more minutes. Let's pick the boxes for now. I didn't break select basketball. I don't know if I'm going to break any more basketball this year, honestly. Panini pissed me off by allocating Immaculate based on something that was totally different than what they ordered. And I never make any money breaking basketball. I just do it to try to get the high-end stuff. But if they're going to, I told that to my distributor, he's like, I'm sorry. that for, for Immaculate, they based it on two products I hadn't ordered, and I ordered the other stuff to try to get some. So, basketball just isn't my thing. I might try something at some point again, but it's hard for me. There's no profit in it, so the only reason why I do it is to try to get something either later or something good for the room, and it's hard. High-end basketball, there is definitely... You know, like flawless, boy, you can, I mean, that's a different, different ball game. So, no, I never listed the Nomar. Would you shut up, Freddie? <laughs> it's hard to break basketball that takes like two hours. If you're like, there's nothing more depressing than break opening for two hours and not having a team and losing 50 bucks is just not that fun. Especially if I just... I can't pronounce the damn names anyways. You guys see me with basketball. <laughs> I embarrass myself enough. All right, we got an important decision, guys. We got to pick two of these four boxes. 
And the decision is solely going on you guys, so you guys can't yell at me if I get the wrong one. So, people that bought uh, in the break or whatever, how, everybody that's in here that's in the break, pick two boxes you like, and I'm going to pick the two most popular boxes. Uh, about two years ago, I went to Gene, and um, and uh, it's one through four, Freddie. One, two, three, four. And it was really boring. I took my daughter, but I heard it's a lot of fun now, Gene. The new coach made it a lot better. So I may go to another one again soon. All right, Freddy's withdrawing his attempt to pick a box. One, two, three, four. Last call. Anybody in the break that wants to pick? I did not get an offer from Dennis, so he read the email. I bet he's just trying. Oh, now he's in there. Dennis, did you want to um, offer on the uh, Broncos or Jags? We're picking boxes too, Dennis. Pick two numbers, one through four, if you want to be in this. Ricky picks one, one, two, three, four. All right, so Freddie picked a four. Dennis picked a one. You got a second box you like, Dennis? I'm just letting uh, people... Okay, I'll give you a second. I just want to get the boxes narrowed down. Give me another... If you guys, Freddie and Dennis, if you want to pick another number, you can. One, four. Ricky, Ricky knows how to do it. Well, it looks like it's going to be one and four anyways. That's the vote so far. It's going to be tough to beat one and four. Dennis picked two. Anybody else in this break didn't pick? No. Rob's in the house. All right. One and four is the victors. So these two are going to sit here sideways over here. What's going on, Rob? So that's the boxes we're going to open. One and four. I'm going to give you guys another minute. If uh, Dennis, if you want to offer... I golf the Jags or Andy, who's neck one one eight seven. The Broncos. They had some interest. Gonna open four first. I think Aaron. I think Aaron's gonna be watching on YouTube, which is always fine, unless he's watching not signed in on on uh, Breakers. Neither one of them are in it, Dennis, in the break. So it'd just be a price or you're keeping one of those two. John said it was okay, though. He may try to get in the next one. So if you want to keep them, it's fine. I was just offering. I'm not sure, Eric. Uh, all right, I'm just going to go ahead and go. Is that okay, Dennis? I have it. Okay. All right, we're just going to go with it this time. Um, and maybe we can, uh, work it in the second one. Sorry, Andy. And John, John may get the next break too. Let's open these two boxes.
Good luck, everybody. First card is going to be Drew Brees. It's not a bad sign for a base card. Parallel on the back is Terrell Davis. Drew Brees starts it off. Oh, those aren't thick sleeves. One, one second. Let me grab the thick sleeves real quick. One of these has got to be thick sleeves. Always somebody wanting to get a hold of me right when the break starts. Okay, Drew Brees, first card, second card. Oh, that's a nice jersey. God, Brian Hartline always has the nicest jerseys. I know that sounds stupid, but it's true. I've had like three or four Brian Hartline patches in the last few years and they've always been crazy good I'm not sure why they do that with Brian Hartline but patch for Hartline has four colors and is a little bit dirty card number three Is that why you always... Colossal. Jersey, number 10 of 35 of Joe Flacco. <laughs> Card number four. Well, you know you're going to get a card if you have the AFC North. Because Jeremy Hill always makes an appearance. 34 of 99. Ball jersey. Good running back for Cleveland. Same rules apply, guys, for multi-cards. You need two of the teams to win it. If everybody, If there's three different, which I think this might be three guys. So, they're all on the same team, so it doesn't matter. Jacksonville Jaguars, Blake Bortles, Alan Hearns, and Alan Robinson. Three-piece jersey. Number 74 of 99. Kind of a neat card for Jacksonville. All right, next card. First autograph, New York Jets, Calvin Pryor, 54 of 99. Calvin uses a ton of sticker, as you can see. New York Jets, AFC East. Next one should be an autograph also. 
Very small autograph. What's up, Jacob? <laughs> Century signatures for the Green Bay Packers. Devonta Adams, 84 of 99. Nice card there for Dave and Freddie. We had a few nice Green Bay ones uh, for you, Gary, last week when you were gone. I think we did, didn't we? I don't know if we hit an Adams Auto, but we had a couple nice Green Bay cards, if I remember right. All cards were sent on Saturday, though, so everybody will be getting them Monday or Tuesday. Yeah, that was a kind of a tough driver. It seemed like there was another jersey that was kind of nice. I know I said your name a couple times, but I can't remember... To what extent? Number 01 of 15, Reggie Bush for the Detroit Lions. <laughs> it's not a 15. Freddie not sharing the autos very well. Got the first two of them. Or no, two of the first three. Next one. Oh, wow. Look at that patch coming. Is that Mike? Oh, crap. That is a crazy good patch. It is Vincent Jackson. It is an awesome patch. Number 11 of 15 for the NFC South. Yeah, got one, two, three, four colors, and then it doubles back to three more colors. It's a great patch. 11 of 15. What is, uh, what is Mike? Is he like 16 or something? Yeah, seven, 13. Seven breaks there. All right, last card's a parallel card, and it is Terrell Davis, 3 of 99. A little bit of a slow start. Let's hope we can do a little better in the second box. I like the Adams a lot. Jackson's a cool patch. Bush and Pryor. Jeremy Hill's a nice card. Joe Flacco. Got two awesome patches that box, but they were Brian Hartline and Vincent Jackson. Box two, which is number Nice base card right on the front. We got a plate. I don't see a book unless it's a redemption. Card number one is Tom Brady base card, number 96 of 99. 
Going to hit the NFC East here. LaShawn McCoy, Pro Bowl. Blue colored for the Philadelphia Eagles. Pro Bowl jersey of McCoy. Number 81 of 99. Since he's been traded, I'd much rather have a jersey that's a Pro Bowl of McCoy. That way it's kind of a neat card, even though he's now Bill. 81 of 99. Next card. One color jersey, Brandon Cooks, 36 of 99. That is the NFC South also. So we have it AF to East with Tom Brady base. NFC South. And NFC East. So far this box, we got some good cards coming up, I think. Four-piece relic for the AFC West, Aaron Murray. Got a ball, two jerseys there, and a patch. Number 0, 1 of 99. Okay, let's hit a couple big cards here. Got to be getting close to autographs here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six cards left. One's a parallel. One piece jersey for the Jaguars. Eight of 25 Cecil shorts. I'll move past that. We've had plenty of Cecil in the days. We have a, the next card is a one of one. I have no idea who it is, but I saw a one of one. Oh wait, no, I got two cards here. So check that. A card after this next one is a one of one. Dual card here, Johnny Manziel and Mike Evans. Number 62 of 99. We got two different owners there, so we will random that one. Ricky is the left side, and Mike Evans. NFC South is Aaron. So I'll do that after this break. I got one more card, and then I got the one of one. Got a redemption. Let's hit a couple really, really big cards in a row. Treasures. Rookie Jumbo Prime Signature Booklet. Vertical. Card number seven. We've hit him so many times. Allen Robinson. For the Jacksonville Jaguars. Third Jags card of the break. Booklet of Allen Robinson. Alright. Next card's a one of one. And then there's a plate after it. So we got back to back one of ones. Yeah, it's a booklet. <laughs> it's not it's a two piece vertical booklet. All right, there's the one of one. And that is a Patriots helmet. Tom Brady is not number 74 though. Dominique Easley. New England Patriots. Rookie patch. Great looking patch. 
We've had several really nice patches. We're kind of whiffing on the names a bit, but first round pick from Florida. He might be a little better than I think. That's a great looking patch. Congrats there for the AFC East. He had a Brady base in that card. All right, next card to plate. Should be autographed. And then one more card and then the parallel card. So two more hits and a parallel. <laughs> it is definitely an autograph. I think it's going this way. Number 42, is that Lot? That is. One of one, Ronnie Lot. Printing plate. Congrats, NFC West. Nice card there. <laughs> it's not a 10 auto. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a 10-3, Gene. <laughs> this card's perfect. <laughs> Not the greatest auto ever, but it's still a one-of-one, one, Eric, and it's still a vast improvement for you, buddy. <laughs> Blade Stone Gem. We got one more parallel card, or one more hit. At least we had a Hall of Famer in one of the two one-of-ones. This one looks like a quarterback. And there's a rookie symbol. Who's number five on the Vikings? Teddy Bridgewater, three of 25. Dante Culpepper. National Treasures. Look at old Teddy B. Stayed on the sticker. He almost went off, but he stayed on there. That's because he's a Viking, Gene. Vikings know what they're doing. NFC North was the winner of these two boxes. Last card, the parallel card, is Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Steve Young. Legend, number 42 of 99. Let me recap it. Thanks, guys, for getting in it. I know it's expensive, so I know many did better than others. Let me go through the hits real quick. I will, uh, I will uh, random this one off here in just a second between Cleveland and Tampa. Also, relics. We got Cecil Shorts. LaShawn McCoy, Jags Trio, Robinson Hearns and Bortles, Jeremy Hill, Joe Flacco, and Heartline Patch out of 49. Autographs. Ted Bridgewater was the last one. Teddy Bridgewater. Ronnie Lott. Second box was definitely better than the first one. Dominic Easley, one of one. The Lott was a printing plate, one of one. The Bridgewater was three of 25. And the Dominic Easley is a one of one also with a great patch there. Um, we got a Allen Robinson vertical book. Vincent Jackson, seven break, three color patch. 
number 11 of 15. Reggie Bush, Bush, number 1 of 15. Devonta Adams, 84 of 99. Hey, Zach, how you doing? And Calvin Pryor was our first autograph. And, oh, there was a few patches I didn't show for some reason. Aaron Murray, four-piece. Brandon Cooks, one color. That was it. Got a Brady base card and a Breeze base card also. So that wraps up this division break. These were the first two boxes of that case.